All right, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having an awesome day, man. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I told you guys in my last video, I actually want to work on diversifying the content. Today, we are playing a money game versus the guy we actually lost to in the CFM Super Bowl. That was an interesting video, I'm not going to lie. A lot of interesting comments. We're going to try to get some revenge today, though. This game, I'm going to be honest, this gameplay might be wilder than the CFM Super Bowl gameplay. I don't, I don't know how. I don't even know if it's possible to top. But I honestly think it might be. The ending is absolutely insane. You guys are going to want to stick around to the end. Trust me. Before we jump into it, man, if you guys could do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. Drop a like, comment if you guys have the time. It's obviously all free. It helps me out a ton. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so here we go, guys. We are taking on Astro. He's on a different gamer tag. He's playing on his friend's account, who I believe just has a god squad. We're playing for $50. So this is a pretty nice chunk of change right here. A lot of money on the line. Definitely want to try our best to win this game. Obviously, you guys can see there he's running the gun doubles. But he actually audibles down right here. Runs some, like, strong twins over on third and long. Doesn't get it. Fourth and 11. He's going to just chuck a seam. And, oh, my God. How is that not played right there? We basically had two DBs right in the area. Neither of them play it. And then we're going to get dotted on the very next play. So, I told you guys I'm working on diversifying the content. I was kind of locked in during this game, so I didn't do a live commentary. Don't worry. The live commentaries are not going anywhere. 90% of our videos will still be those. It's just, you know, if I'm playing late at night, if I'm playing for money in a tournament, something like that, I like to just lock in, listen to music. I don't want to worry about, you know, trying to be entertaining or doing the SAT words or anything like that. So we'll still have all the live commentaries for this game, though. We are doing a post commentary. We did a really nice stop right here. And then Dak Prescott with the fake field goal. This guy is an absolute crackhead. Like, he plays like such a demon. I honestly didn't really expect it. I thought maybe he was just getting super... Well, he definitely did get pretty lucky in some plays in the Super Bowl. But I thought, like, maybe he was just making bad decisions. I think he consciously makes these decisions and just doesn't care. Like, this guy is an absolute psychopath. It makes the game super entertaining, honestly. I can't believe we didn't make that tackle on the fake field goal as well. We had a guy right there. I think it was Eric Berry. He laid out and just missed the tackle. And then the story of the Super Bowl, man, was I just could not score in the red zone. Like, I don't know if this guy has the best goal line defense ever or if he's just getting lucky. We got shedded from the left, the left end, the right end, the D tackle. I'm going to go for it on fourth down. And then this time it's his user. So four different people shed it on four different plays. So part of me still thinks it's luck. But honestly, I'm not sure. He might just have the best goal line defense on a planet earth right there i thought we had the safety second and 11 he throws a pick well we thought he threw a pick he threw it right to my face and not only did i not catch it but he actually agged me with kittle i think he might have some sort of a billion on him maybe matchup nightmare or something not really sure so not a great spot to start the game we generate some really great pressure there third and 11 he actually audibles down a strong wing again and he throws right to a zone once again. This sh ah, that could have been so easily seven, man. Unfortunately, though, our guy does not make the break on it. And then right here, we dropped probably what would have been a pick six. But hey, man, we still got the stop. I won't complain, man. It's Madden. You guys saw me in the Kiv game. I got super lucky. That's just the way Madden 21 is, man. Especially when you're playing money. Everyone's very similar skill levels this late in the year. Everyone knows all the good blitzes and all the good plays and routes and stuff like that. Right? The skill gap isn't that large this late in the year so a big part of it man is just gonna be luck and this is probably one of the flukiest maddens ever made i mean someone someone's gonna get really lucky in a game and you gotta just hope it's you right there right man right so second and ten right here nice dot to kill on the crosser seven seven ball game considering everything that's happened so far this is about you know this is about as good as we can ask for another kittle dot this guy is just man he is abusing that tight end i really probably should have dedicated more zones to stopping that the tight end was just kind of killing me this game and not to mention not to mention the fact that this guy was just snapping the ball like i told you guys he makes some crazy reads he's not afraid to just throw it up make a play right there he throws a fade from six yards out and it gets open that was a dot we have 48 seconds no timeouts if we can get any sort of points here that is a huge victory but yeah this guy was quick snapping man I think he's a young kid. I think he's like a teenager. I think he's like probably like 16 or 17, something like that. I, I actually don't know. So all those young kids, man, especially in the competitive scene, man, they play like psychos. They play like psychos right there. Randy Moss. Like, can we please get, who we please get our feet in, man? And you guys know me. I'm an old man. I turned 25 in March. My fingers are starting to slow down. My reactions are slowing down. 
I'm fighting for my life out here, man. It's a tough scene in the competitive gaming industry when all these young kids are just coming up every year and they're just absolute goons. They're just, they're, their reaction time so much faster. They can adjust so much quicker. The stick works better. I'm trying to keep up, man. I'm running out of breath just doing this voiceover right now. 10 to 14, though, we have the slant, but we also have the crosser. Unfortunately, just a bit of an overthrow right there, man, from RG3. Golden ticket. Not an ideal. Not an ideal start out of half right there, man. Now we're down four. We don't have ball. And honestly, this guy has been throwing some lasers. He's throwing some questionable stuff, but he's also throwing some steamers. And then right there, he throws another questionable read. We bite down super hard with our user to bait him. Immediately crash back up as soon as we see the tight end on the seam. And you guys know he loves his tight end. We're able to bait it. Second and 10 right here. Nice little check down to Mike Evans for a huge gain, actually. Down four. Still got a lot of life here, man. Got to take our time as we hit Kittle up the seam. You know, you can throw to Kittle. I can throw to Kittle as well. Right here, he actually runs commit. We have RB wide open. And um, like I said, you got to be the one. You got to be the one that gets lucky, man. Or at least you got to hope so. Right there, some nice stick work. Some nice stick work, man. I'm old. I'm not that old, okay? We fake out the user. Kind of risky because if we take a hit stick, we 100% fumble. And we are in a dark spot if that happens. We take the risk though, it pays off, and now we are up three right here. About a minute 50 left in the third quarter, and he hits us with a bomb that he hit us with in the Super Bowl, man. The middle third glitch. You guys can see there, I had a middle third zone. He ran all the way back, and then at the last second, because it's a glitch, he actually peels off. It's a uh, specific route combo. I think you have to have like a seam from a slot guy. You have to have like a comeback route of post. I don't know the exact combo. I don't really do it. I have seen it this year. Numerous numerous times. I believe Decroft was the one who actually started it in the Seahawks club That's how he managed to beat Kiv. So that's been around for a while man Haven't really seen in gun doubles. Honestly, I'm the only person I've seen all year who's ran gun doubles I still prefer the spread though and then right here man We have RB wide open. We had the touchdown on to the play before just not able to get the ball off This guy's D-line is humming right now and then right here We take a huge hit from a disengage from the D-line I'm playing on conservative RG3 has 99 carrying, but definitely lucky to not fumble. And then he sends another five-man blitz. Like, this guy did not really adjust at all on defense. He basically ran Mike Blitz 3 with the five-man blitz. The same thing he did in Super Bowl. We're able to take advantage of it. He left the middle of the field wide open. And we hit Kittle for a huge fourth down conversion now. I don't know if that was the best decision going for it on that fourth down. It obviously looks pretty good just because we actually ended up getting the touchdown. As he throws a pick right there to Springs. And then... K-Mac with the old man stick. I mean, what do you expect from a K-Mac video? Old man stick, I, that has to be a pick six, man. I gotta have better stick work right there. We're up three, full control of the game with ball. This guy has not been able to stop us. He runs the same defense every single time right here. Second and nine, I maybe could've gotten the first, but I don't wanna take a hit stick. First time all game, I'm gonna audible to gun bond, see if we can catch him off guard, and he was ready for everything. That was actually just perfect defense. I don't really feel like I missed a read right there. Maybe I had the seam on the left on the break, but that just wasn't one of my initial reads. Really solid defense. And right here we have a broken match coverage for what would have been a wide open cartwheel into the end zone touchdown. The pressure gets there. His user was there, but it was so far underneath. If we don't get pressured right there, that is a 110% a touchdown. Unfortunately though, the D-line sheds, we get a throw out of sack, and it gets right to his user for a uh, bad timing ball hawk. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference. He, we probably would have made the tackle regardless. We're down three. He has the ball. And like I said, we've been struggling for a stop. He's quick snapping, no huddling, all this stuff. He hits me with a delay fade right here. He throws a crazy block with, I believe, Robert Woods maybe. And then Kittle with the Jets into the end zone. So this game turned on its head, man. We were in full control. And now we are clamoring for some life, man. Only two timeouts here, minute 13, and we need a touchdown. Down four. He's sending the five-man blitz, which means I pretty much have to keep my running back blocked. Otherwise, I have to make a super quick read. We do right there. Again, the pressure just gets there. And then once again on third and two, we are sacked. It's looking like the game is over, man. Fourth and five. I'm sending five out. The guy comes in free off the edge, but we hit Kittle over the middle on a post route. High ball to get over the user just to ensure it. I think a normal pass, I think it still gets over, but just to be sure, I highballed it, took the extra risk, it paid off, and then right here, one of the cleanest dots I've seen all game, if not for a while, right there, split in the cover three with George Kittle, who's been an absolute beast for us, really good defense right here, thankfully we had the drag right there, easily could have been intentional grounding, and then third and ten, I mean, 
nothing I really love right there. I know people are going to be like, oh, you had this open or that open. But for what I was looking at initially off the play, didn't really have anything I liked. Fourth and six for the game. He goes to the backside dig. We hit the out route. A game-saving dot, but I did not get out of bounds. The clock keeps running. We spiked the ball. Three seconds left. What am I going to do, man? It is so hard to pass from inside the 10-yard line. Even harder inside the 5. So what I'm going to do here, man, is I've, I haven't really ran the rap a lot. But I know this guy watches my stream. We've obviously played in the CFM. He obviously knows that when I go to the double flex instead of the spread Y flex, that's pretty much every time I go there, I'm either running inside zone or QB wrap. There's no real pass plays I like in the double flex. So what I'm going to do here, man, is I'm going to audible from Y flex to double flex, which makes him think I'm going to run QB wrap. One of the best runs in the game. I think he's going to sell out for it. And I'm going to run quick slants. I'm going to run quick slants. I run quick slants and I throw a laser to Randy Moss for the go-ahead touchdown. One second on the clock. Sometimes you got to dumb it down, man. I mean, this game is pretty much over, right? He's just going to run Hail Mary, just throw it up, just try to get lucky. I'm just dragging my user all the way back to the end zone. There's no way he just catches this. And Well, he caught it. He caught it. He goes down at the five. Oh, my God. I, I don't know. Like, all these controllers might have just been chucked into the wall, into the monitor. I would have 360 roundhouse my new Xbox. Like, I'm not going to lie. I would have freaked out if that ended up being a touchdown. Thankfully for us, though, it is not. One of the craziest games I've played, man. Absolutely love that one. Can't ask for a more exciting ending. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, hit the subscribe button. Let me know if you guys want a game two as well. We played a rematch, so let me know if you guys want to see that as well. And with that being said, man, I will see you guys next time. Peace.